how can I use data to run my business better? Keep it as simple as that, and any CEO worth his salt ought to be able to answer that question. Hey, if I had more information here, I could make a better decision over there. And then our job is then to figure out the how and help you figure out how you're going to do that. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC North America. Today, I'm with my friend Larry from Advanced Manufacturing International. We're going to talk a little bit about moving into the area of 4.0 and how they, a young company, just around a year old, might be able to help you. So, Larry, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. Yeah, thanks, Tony. My pleasure. Well, as you are the expert here, and I'm learning so much from you, let's talk about what we have all around us here and how you're able to support the global audience that's watching you right now. Yeah, sure. So let's start with the AMI story. So Advanced Manufacturing International was started as a nonprofit with the specific focus of helping small and medium manufacturers get on board with Industry 4.0. A lot of people talk about Industry 4.0. There's lots of buzzwords out there about it. But if you're a small and medium manufacturer, a lot of it can be overwhelming. It can be, where do I get started? What am I going to do? So AMI's role is to really find that great entry point for small and mediums to get on board with it. You're right. 4.0 almost becomes a saturated word at this point where everyone's using it but not actually pushing through a lot of times. So AMI is focused on that. And what aspects are you guys helping those small and medium shops? Because to me, that really makes sense. And the small and medium shops do need some help to move forward with that, don't they? Yeah, they do. So what they need are solutions that are specifically targeted for them. It doesn't matter if it's technology or how to build up their workforce capability. But the problem in the industry today is a lot of the solutions that are out there are really focused on the large companies. They got budgets, they got staffs, they can make stuff happen. But the small and mediums really lack that. So our job is to figure out and find solutions that really work for them, which means they got to be cheap, they got to be easy to install, they got to be easy to maintain and really understandable. And something that the small and mediums can take with as a starting point and not have to come back to somebody every time they need help but we want to teach them how to fish and give them solutions that they can really use and build on themselves over time. Well, if I'm watching this video right now, I'm already excited if I'm small and medium shop going, great, somebody wants to help me, I'm excited. Right. So if they want to learn more about how to find you, where would they look up, what's your website, how can they find out more about who you are? Yeah, so if you go on advmfg.org, that's where you'll find our website and all information about our capability. We're a team built on industry veterans who've been doing this kind of stuff for a long time, as well as some description of the product that we'll be talking about here. So what does Industry 4.0 really mean to those small and medium shops? Yeah, so there's a lot of buzzwords, a lot of hypes. It's just fundamentally about how can I use data to run my business better? Keep it as simple as that, and any CEO worth his salt ought to be able to answer that question. Hey, if I had more information here, I could make a better decision over there. And then our job is then to figure out the how and help you figure out how you're going to do that. Awesome. And I think you have a friend with you as well that we're going to talk a little bit more about the technology that's around us, right? We are. So we've been partnering with Lux Energy and Nat Frampton uh, because they have a solution that fits into our model. As I said, our job is to really find those products out in the marketplace, specifically targeted for SMMs that meet that cheap and easy criteria. And Nat, over many years, has been developing a great solution that we really fits well into that market. I cannot wait to talk to him and learn some more. I appreciate you giving me this information and sharing it with the global audience as well. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks. So now we have my buddy Nat, and Nat represents some really cool technology, kind of like what we just discussed, but everyone's coming together in a symbiotic relationship to help you guys create success. So Nat, let's talk about what we have going on here. Okay, so what we're looking at is a lot of sm small to medium manufacturers that have wonderful equipment. We have a robo-drill behind us. We've got a wonderful cooperative robot here. We've got a 3D printer that's sitting over here. So we've got all this technology. Now what's happening? They already have interfaces on them. All these people are working hard to make sure you can connect to their equipment, but that's a programmer. So the question is, can we work with the interfaces that are available on the equipment and give them a simple tool, a simple box that would allow them to connect to that equipment and get all this magic data everybody's talking about and make it easy to look at? We, want to, we understand that small to mediums are having trouble getting people to work. So can we lower the skill level required for people to be able to get data from these systems and be able to understand that data and do something to improve their process? And that's really what the box is about. Created some software, it's hard to sell software. People don't know what to do with it. 
But if you give them a box, they kind of get it. They said, oh, okay, I got a box that looks like other boxes I have. I'll stick it on the wall and that'll work. And that was the inception of this. So the last 20 years, I've taken all of my integration experience and stuck it into one place. We've got over 50 different protocols that we speak to all the different types of equipment. So the goal is, is to have you come in, drive a simple wizard and a simple user interface that uses your Windows capability. Can you drag and drop? That's all the skills you need. Can you do that? So we'll take some wizards and then all of a sudden it follows every machine. If I've got a RoboDrill that's coming over here, we thank Methods for helping us with the RoboDrill. It was fantastic. And we take the RoboDrill and we say, what information is available on a RoboDrill? We'll drill into that. And when that machine starts running, we're going to collect it all for you. So we give them confidence that set and forget. Let's just set it up. And now all that data is there. When I have any issue or I want to know something, let's just allow them to drill down in. And we can take a quick look at that of what drilling down in looks like. But the whole goal is to use the skills they already have, not ask them to become programmers or anything, and give them technology that does the industry 4.0. Don't even know what that means, but gives you data, sees how your process is going, and gives you a chance to improve it. And that's really what the technology is for. Look at the equipment puts a layer above it that allows you to do all those cool kind of things, and that's what the Limbs Box is designed for. Well, that makes sense. So I feel like I have to bring this up, and we thank Methods for the RoboDrill. Obviously, I see a Fanuc RoboDrill, a Fanuc Cobot, Collaborative Robot. You mentioned 3D printing as well. But I, I want to make sure that the audience that's watching, is, this is clarified. We, this is a universal product that can work across the manufacturing world, right? With anything that's going on in a machine shop, you can connect this box and right. help, the, help find the data that they're searching for. And we specialize in legacy. So you've got the latest equipment, that's awesome, that's the easy stuff. Now the tougher stuff is, what if I've got some older machines that have some older interfaces? Well, I've been doing this for 20 years, all of those are in the box. We don't say that you have to go buy a license for every one of those, you get it all. You know, 50 protocols, you get it all in the box. And let's say you can't. Let's say that you got a piece of equipment that you want to monitor, you can't do anything about, we give you some screw terminals. You can put on some sensors, wire it in the box, and go and monitor your system yourself. Especially if it's that old 20-year-old controller that won't talk to anything, maybe we'll just snap onto its power cord and pattern match your parts coming out. Whatever it takes, we're gonna help you, and especially with legacy. So let's take one step for the audience out there who has heard the term 4.0. They know they want to get better. We know that we're collecting information, but you're the expert on this type of topic. For someone who doesn't have any sort of machine metrics or ERP systems, what are the main reasons why someone would look at you and this company and go, holy cow, I need to have that because my shop is going to get better for these reasons based on the metrics that I'm collecting, the data that I'm collecting. Yep. Start simple. I want to know what's the number one ask. Can you let me know at night when that machine failed? That's the first thing I want to know. I'd like an email. Now I want to save some energy. Let's say I was maybe printing a 3D part overnight and it failed at 11. Well, at 2 p.m. I'm starting up an oven to get ready for the six o'clock shift that's coming in. I pull a relay on that and now it's not wasting that energy because I know it failed. So the first thing is, is my equipment running? Now I want to know, well, maybe I'm in a shop where it's good, I've got a big order. I want to know that I'm keeping up with production and know what's going on. So that's the second thing. How's it going? What's my efficiency? Am I using the machines that I paid for? Or are we having issues getting the material and all that kind of stuff? And that becomes what we look at for OEE.